All right, back at the farm after making some changes yesterday to try and stop this small die off we've been having. Let's see if the worms seem happier, more spread out than they did yesterday. Oh, that's not good. Um, got some piles. It's not the best sign in the world. Of this next one. Yeah, same thing. Lots of worms. Doesn't really flow that great. It's too fine. Shaking the rest. I don't seem to hate it. Newer. Do a quick misting of it, kind of dampen it. All right, back here in the afternoon. Let's. Make some changes this morning the worms didn't look as bad as they did yesterday but still wasn't super happy with what i was seeing what's the other doing right now after it's been a few hours and eh, about 12 hours oh, doesn't look like a lot of new dead ones and the worms are mostly on the ground. Some still up on top, but that's awesome. All right, that's good. Most have gone back underground, so that's good. Okay, I'm gonna put some cloth on here so we can not do this metal. I think this metal is what's causing a lot of the problems. Okay, some new cloth on. It's a stronger more durable variety than the old stuff. And um, put my sensors back in. I turned the whole bed too, because I still think my main problem was oxygen. And um, the bed kind of going anaerobic a little bit. So I turned it. There was actually quite a lot of worms. A lot more than I expected, especially down near the die off area. So that made me feel a lot better. A lot more optimistic about what's going on. Um, put this cloth on, get some more oxygen flow. Barely, barely misted it down just to um, kind of dampen that top a little bit because it'll dry out a little faster now without these pieces of metal on there. I'm gonna winterize the farm soon. I'll do a video on that. We gotta get it to where it'll stay the same temperature all winter so our worms will keep working. And we can keep expanding throughout the winter. Um, but yeah, I'll come back soon with another update.